Steve, in a city with so much develop, development right now, cranes, new buildings, uh, so much going on in this city, a chance to reconnect with history. At one point, there were five streetcars in Seattle. Three of them recently got sold to St. Louis. Two of them are currently being housed in Anacortes. And if this group gets their way, they're going to put those two back on the rails here in Seattle. I think it's important that we not lose track of the fact that we had this kind of a streetcar system and that we using these old cars is evocative of that system. They aren't the same cars we had, but certainly they're evocative of what we once had. Right now, this organization needs to raise nearly $30,000 for an engineering study, and if they do it, they then need about $1 million per car to book the back on the street. The streetcars would run from the International District through Pioneer Square, past Pike Place Market, and down here to Mohai. The leader of the effort told me that this would really be a great opportunity for both locals and tourists. Are truly, I, th I call them kinetic art pieces. Uh, the interior woodwork is something to behold. Uh, the uh, mahogany is Tasmanian mahogany. Uh, the woodwork is something that uh, any craftsman would cherish. And so we want to put those back on the street. SDOT and Metro Transit have been supportive. If you are interested in helping them out, you can go to friendsofthebensontrollies.org, friendsofthebensontrollies.org. For more information, we've also provided a link on king5.com. As you look live here in South Lake Union, a pretty uh, exciting project, a chance to reconnect with history in a city that's changing so much by the day. Joyce and Steve, we'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Alex.